Hey guys, the Angry Little Geek here, and today I'm going to do a toy review on the Nickelodeon Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Samurai Usaki Jumbo action figure. Now, a little backstory here, Usaki Jumbo is a creation of Stan Saki, who uh, created a comic book series entitled Usaki Jumbo. The character became famous in the 1980s when he appeared on the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series. And ever since then, whenever there was a, uh, an animated iteration of Usaki Jumbo on the Ninja Turtles cartoon series, the action figures would sell like wildfire. The only time you're really ever able to find the figure was in the 80s original and even then it was still something really cool to behold so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging here real quick before we open this awesome figure up so here we have the Nickelodeon logo we've got the Tales from uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, logo here for the new show uh, we have some artwork here uh, depicting Usaki or Jumbo and of course the Three turtles in the background, of course. Uh, what looks like, I believe, uh, I think that's supposed to be Leonardo, even though that looks like looks like Donatello, and that looks like Donatello. I don't know. Anyway, this whole scene here reminds me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three movie where they go back in Japan. So way to go. That movie could have only been saved by Usaki himself. On the back. We got, of course, the logo and a brief description here of the story. The Ninja Turtles find themselves in another dimension inhabited by animal warriors. Disguised as samurai, the turtles ally themselves with a ronin rabbit named Usaki Jimbo. Together, they must save the young prince from a band of Nico ninjas led by Jay, an evil sorcerer. So that's pretty cool. I believe this was like a three or four part uh, mini series on a Tales from the Teenage Mutant Turtles cartoon. So, and of course, then we have the Ninja Turtles themselves on the back of the box and our star, Usaki Jumbo. And you'll notice right away here, what you notice, the color scheme, painted weapons, a little bit more detail than what we actually fucking get. Again, it says playmates don't expect to get what you see on the packaging so all right so one last look at the carded figure okay so now that we have them out of the package let's take a little, little closer look here so all right first off let's go ahead take a look at the sculpt and the paint job on this guy it is fantastic I love it um, I do wish we still had the details uh, that we got on the back of the package, packaging, the colored scabbard, the details on the swords, but typical playmates don't give us what we want. Oh, yeah. Um, the swords are um, just plain gray plastic. They do fit in the scabbard. Uh, unfortunately, the little um, scabbard here, this is not removable. This is permanently attached. So, that is kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, I mean, the overall the overall sculpt and paint job on this guy is uh, still pretty cool. I'm a little curious, however, on uh, what this here is for. Uh, maybe it was supposed to be for some type of a backpack. I don't know. Maybe it was just a scrapped idea. So, all right. Overall articulation on this guy, though. Uh, we do have a ball jointed head. It does move up and down. A little bit of sideways. Does turn. 
Um, it's not the best, but it's, you know, not too bad. We have the arms, which do go forward and backwards and out, because it's on a ball joint, also good. Waist does not turn. Uh, the legs do move uh, forward and backwards, and of course they move, uh, they don't move out, but they will swivel. We have the bend at the uh, knee, and the feet do turn. Um, I have not had any issues standing this guy up. He stands perfectly. So, um, I have wanted a uh, Usaki Jumbo figure for a long time. Um, I have the one from the 1980s cartoon, but I wanted one that uh, more represented him from the comic book series. This is pretty close. This is this is probably the closest I've seen. Uh, I know there's a few actual figures out there that go for quite a bit of money. This guy cost me uh, about... This guy cost me $20 on eBay. He's supposed to go for about eight, what, almost $9 on uh, Walmart. Because he is a Walmart exclusive. But, you got to love those fucking scalpers, assholes. But luckily I won him on a bid and out of buying me now. So, so there we go. There is your Usakio Jumbo figure. Uh, he's in stores now. <laughs> you can find him. He's probably like one per case from the new uh, Turtles line. So, happy hunting, good luck, and uh, I mean, yeah, this is a great figure. Definitely one to pick up. Uh, if you could find the big 12-inch one, which I did, I'll do a review on him another time. I would also suggest picking him up because he is also a great uh, looking figure. Until next time.